Okay, so guess what? <gasps> I'm not dead. I know it's been a while since I posted something on this channel, but I mean, I've been really, really, really busy. I have made a Beauty and the Beast movie with my new Beauty and the Beast castle set, and it's taking a really long time to edit their little faces and their little expressions, so sorry it's been taking me a while to post something, but I'm putting this on because I want to show you all I am not dead. But on the note of Beauty and the Beast, it's full of mini dolls. And so today I'm discussing mini dolls versus minifigs. So let's start with all the pros and cons. For one thing with these little mini dolls, their little faces cannot change, which is the major problem with Beauty and the Beast that I keep having to edit their little faces. Their expressions cannot change, they are stuck forever with a constant smile. Which is a problem with stop motion because in stop motion their faces have to change in order to express emotion, which fortunately the Lego minifigure has. Also, these guys have separate legs which enable them to walk smoothly and, I don't know, do the splits. But the problem with mini dolls is their legs are not separate so they can't really walk normally and you have to really show them from the waist up as they're walking. For another thing, their hands do not turn, which is a slight problem because sometimes they have to be able to hold something horizontally or something and it's just easier if you're able to turn their little hands. On the pro side of things, these look more like people than Lego minifigures. Their necks are skinnier and more lifelike, as are their arms and legs. Their feet are also rounded instead of square. And they actually have noses! How cute is that? Also, because they look more like people and have their rounded feet, they are able to have shoes. And while minifigures can also have shoes, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between a minifig wearing shoes and a minifig with just striped pants. I had the same cheerleader skirt on my Indian minifig for a couple years because I didn't realize it wasn't the Indian pants. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. They are also capable of having shorter skirts than a Lego minifig because most Lego minifig skirts are to the ground and it looks like a princess and it's really dramatic. And most of the girls actually have to wear pants. And also mini dolls are not just girl dolls. There are also boy mini dolls such as Oliver in the pizzeria and my little guy in the bakery set. There are boys and girls in these sets, it's not just a girl toy. And the nice thing about all Legos is they are all gender neutral. Whether you're a girl or a boy or whether you're old or young, it doesn't really matter because Legos are for anybody. In summary, mini dolls are not as good as mini figures because they just lack a lot of articulation points which the mini figures have, but they are actually better for play for little girls because they have fewer parts to lose because like I said their hands don't articulate because they don't come off and their legs do not separate from their bodies either. It's just nice because they look more like people and they look more like dolls for little girls and they have fewer pieces to lose. That is just about it. If you have any pros or cons I may have missed, you can type them down in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for further Tips Thursday or any other videos, please feel free to comment and tell me about that and you might actually be the inspiration for a video on this channel. Wouldn't that be cool? And now, a preview of Beauty and the Beast. By the way, the behind the scenes is coming very soon. Don't worry, it will be on this channel very soon, probably sometime next month. And that's it. Bye.